Prime Minister Jeremiah Manele says the government for national unity and transformation will secure and buy back full ownership of the Livers Solomon Islands Limited LSL and its subsidiary, the Russell Islands Plantation Limited Repel. This move aims to return control of these important real estates to the Solomon Islands government and its people. An Australian court had appointed a Sydney firm, Hall Chadwick, as the liquidators for the LSL and Repel estates. This simply means that Hall Chadwick had been authorised by the Australian court to sell these two estates and pay off the creditors for the two estates. This process involves settling all the monies owed to the creditors, which will ensure the creditors will transfer 100% of their shares and interests to the liquidators. The total estimated amount of funds sought to complete this settlement is AUD 25 million, or approximately SBD 140 million. After this settlement, the creditors no longer own LSL and Repel Estates. The liquidator will then pass the titles and interests transferred by the creditors to them, to the entity that provided the funds to settle the outstanding deals with the creditors. Paul Chadwick came to Honor in February this year to commence the liquidation. Attorney General John Maria Jr. provided an update on the Lavucal Investment Company Limited, which owns 24% shares of both Repel and LSL amidst the ongoing liquidation process. We are, um, what government have tried for doing is get them control of every Otnara companies where uh, Patrick Wong and Vim Blyman to follow them control him. So once we take control of that, you take it. You out him every what company say come down because some LSL government him partner with him, uh, Lavukal people. Uh, so they they're not affected in this liquidation. What are they? Are, what are, um, part of Emilio Solomon? So uh, this it's someone's company, um, but the foreign ownership of him now he may try for remove him. So make him come not someone's government and uh, we own it together with him. What are uh, people? A recent decision by an Australian court which appointed a liquidator for the LSL estate has now presented an opportunity to regain full ownership. The liquidator stated that the estates will be liquidated immediately with a 140 million payment required to settle debts and reclaim ownership. For the price of 140 and we're hoping to bring it down, we're getting not the 50 million, uh, not the 50 uh, hectares we are getting the whole of the estates. And then we are getting rid of the foreign ownership. Uh, foreign ownership is there registered in many different countries. All those ones disappeared, it's, it's cleaned up. And as one entity come back to Solomon Island, with Solomon government now, Babahem on him. And then the subcommittee that the Prime Minister talked about, that will then be the one that's responsible for what is now management structure, Babahem and all that. Now, Labukau, there are other issues for Labukau at the moment. Uh, so it's not part of the settlement. Uh, so if you look at uh, all the levers as 100%, uh, LSA and uh, uh, repeal is 75%. That 75% comes back to the government. Levocal, in a sense, is already with us with some foreign ownership, but it's got some complicated legal issues going on with it at the moment. Uh, <coughs> and so it's not, not good for us to get ourselves involved with that. That will have its own solution down the track. Uh, but this one is to secure fast time, not to follow it, because the danger is it's a liquidation process. If government him not pay, someone else will pay. And that someone else will be a foreign owner. So it will go from one foreign ownership to another foreign ownership. That one now you may like to prevent him. And that's why government is coming in, so that him so we take him back, so that it does, doesn't go to any other foreign ownership. The Solomon Islands government has been given the first right of refusal before alternative buyers are considered. The new cabinet has approved the sale of SBD $140 million in bond to raise the funds needed to secure this buyback 
through the liquidators, Paul Chadwick. Once funds are transferred and the settlement is completed, some work will, be, will need to be done to clean up all the paperwork, including titles of pieces of land already sold before handing back the ownership of LSL and Ripple Estates to the government. I wish now to clarify that the government will establish a cabinet subcommittee that will be responsible to oversee the development of a mechanism to oversee and to oversee governance and management of the two estates when they are returned to the government. This process will involve several steps, including one, identifying and reaffirming people that have already bought pieces of land from these two estates and have already been given legal titles. Second, identifying people that have been living in parts of the two estates without legal titles. Thirdly, identifying land that had not been used for future investment and development. Once the above are established, then solutions will be discussed. For instance, those already having legal titles will most likely be reaffirmed. The reason the government is involved in this massive investment is to ensure the ownership of the land, return, of the land returns to Solomon Islands and not remain in foreign hands.